what they go do with me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd. Girl, you know today, yeah, niggas don't do that. y'all what's up it's your girl rihanna imani and you're tuned in to another interview with talk of the town and let me know what we got in the building today i'm stuck we got a star in the building so let us know like where you coming from so i'm originally from tulsa Oklahoma, but i've been in atlanta since i was 15 so i like to say you know i'm i'm, I'm, I'm tulsa raised but atlanta made and i think that that's so important especially on black history month so tulsa, no because bad. before 21 y'all y'all don't know Tulsa was like the mecca for black art for sure, and, for sure. and entrepreneurship and all that sure. so I think that it's really really important that that's like that's in your blood no for sure for sure so what was it like growing up I know you said that you moved from Tulsa to Atlanta when you were 15 yeah I was, I was like back and forth okay so like what was that like um coming up in Tulsa uh I, I definitely would say uh it was it was it was real slow, you know, compared to to Atlanta. You know, we got we got a lot of talent down there. We got a a lot of um, a, a lot of stuff going on down there. But you know, definitely when I, when I moved to Atlanta, like it was it was it was it was a lot faster. You mm -hmm. know, a lot more opportunity. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, it was it was lit. Okay, so what age did you start making your music? Was that? Uh, I was around like I was that was I was about twelve. Okay, so you were already yeah. making music by the time yeah, that you were sure. in Atlanta. So did you notice a difference in the type of music that you were making from when you were in Oklahoma? I mean, I, I feel like uh, I worked with a lot of uh, producers and a lot of songwriters and a lot of uh, people that, 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 that were musically inclined. Mm -hmm. So I feel like what they did rubbed off on me a lot in Atlanta. So, yeah. From early or was that like your more recent years? Uh, I feel like it was uh, probably two, three years being down there. Okay, so mm -hmm. like, what was the first like song that really like got you out there that blew up? I um, I actually did a remix to Lifestyle by okay. Young Thug, mm -hmm. and uh, it was me and my homeboy Yoshi. Man, we 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 did, literally did like a our organic video, you mm -hmm. know, posted it on Facebook. Literally got like two million views in like two days. Nice. And ever since, I was I just been I just stayed consistent and built my fan base. And I noticed, like, even on your Instagram, you still have some of your old like covers. For sure, for sure. And those are dope. Do you feel like your do you feel like your fans were like initially picking up with the original songs that you were making or was it more the covers that had it was uh i feel like it was both okay i remember it was times that i dropped the original records you know on youtube and uh they would catch a lot of uh traction mm -hmm. uh, you know and I, obviously it was the covers that kind of got me uh my attention mm -hmm. but like whenever i dropped my originals they also got attention mm -hmm. so it's kind of both because i know like the song just dropped last year, yeah. but I remember that like when the TikTok like I ain't got no hoes. Yeah. <laughs> you made that song like yeah. you a hoe. Yeah, I don't for know sure. What the yeah, about. I did. I did that on Vine. That they, they caught a lot of viral attention. Mm -hmm. That was like my first viral Vine. So what made you remake that song last year? Uh, I, I, I made it a couple. I think it was about a couple years ago. But the reason why I made that it was it was, it was really a real story. You know, it was mm -hmm. like a, it was like a real. It was like an actual thing that I had went through, you know, I went through, I had a girl at, at the time, and um, she she ended up screwing a dude, uh, like smashing a dude that, that I knew from my hometown, he actually sung as well, yeah. and he tried to like, tried to like come back at me after I made the, 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 uh, the, the bitch as a whole record. Oh, really? And he tried to like remix it and say, yeah, I fucked your hoe and all that type of stuff, but I, I, I really did that because it was, you know, I was, I, was just, I was young and I was prideful. See, I don't know. There's a lot of rap beef going on, but I never heard about the <laughs> Oh, you just put me on. I might have to listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for sure. Okay, so like, would you say that like your real life stories inspire a lot of the music that you make? No, for sure, for sure. Every every song that I made, uh, I created off a real life experience. Oh, really? Yeah. If it wasn't mine, it was somebody that I knew. So. Do they know when you make? Songs? Yeah, for sure. You know, for sure, for sure. Have um, you ever? Sometimes. Have you ever lied and told somebody their songs about them when it really was it? No. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so I know you have a song coming out. Man, yeah, for March fourth, man. Don't make me bad fish and little baby man. It's gonna be outside, man. Okay. The new R&B nigga has a rock. Yeah. The new R&B nigga has a rock. Sure. That's a very strong. We gonna get into that statement. <laughs> but let's talk about the song real quick. So, like, what kind of sounds can we listen? I know a visual is coming out too. Yeah, for sure. So, what can we look out for, like, from that song? Like, what type of Feeling, I mean, feel? really, I really wanted to, to to bring back that vintage sound of R and B. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That real soulful singing. 
you know, because I feel like a lot of people sing rap nowadays, so I wanted to, like, make a statement, like, I'm the new voice of this generation, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to, like, make that statement with the record, and with my whole project that I got coming on the way. Nice. And when can we expect like that? Uh, how about a couple, couple months? A couple Something months. like that. Okay, so like just in time for summer. Yeah, something like that. Okay, well that's dope. All right, so what was it like working with Baby? It was lit. It was lit. Um, me and uh, me and Sean Gear actually created the record. Um, we wrote it together. Shout out to Sean Gear. He helped mold me. Uh, he helped. He, he helped me. He helped my uh, my style out a lot. Mm -hmm. But um, we wrote the record. We like, man, you know, Baby sound crazy on this record. So we called. We called the big homie up. You know, obviously the person that we that we're both signed to. Shout out Wolfpack Global Music. And. Um, and we was like, yo, we need, we need to get this to Baby, man. This shit hard. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We sent this to Baby. He liked the record. He hopped on it. Uh, literally, like a week later, we shot the video in L.A. Nice. So that was a yeah. quick turnaround. For sure. It was lit. So how do you like being signed to Wolfpack? I love it. I, I couldn't wish for a better label. Oh, really? For sure. What makes it so great? It's, I mean, like, we, we, we're a family. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, like I like the fact that they don't just, that they don't just throw us out there like that. They literally take it slow and, like, really, like, like, help us figure out who we are and just like just really just you know just, mm -hmm. just keep us in the loop with everything so like what was the step towards you getting signed to them like what did it for you so i was actually i was actually in lennox mom mm -hmm. singing <laughs> <laughs> singing to, okay. singing to different people you know i was like man like i don't got nothing going on i'm about to go into lennox mom and just sing for anybody famous that i know mm. so i seen adrian broner i seen rico he's now signed with Wolfpack as well i'm mm -hmm. over there um, and we goes to AB, and uh, I, just, I just walked up to him, and I was like, Say lady! I did that. <laughs> I did that, right? And, like, the whole mall just looked at me. And yeah, because I was looking like, wow. They was like, wow, like, he can really sing. So Rico, Adrian, Adrian was like, man, I, I can't do nothing for you. I'm a boxer, bro, but shoot, you're an amazing talent. You know, Rico took my number down, and he introduced me to Gooch. And then Goose took me to the studio and introduced me to the big dog. And then I got signed like a week later. Wow, that was like... So that, that's how you know you really got it. Because yeah. we live in New York and we see people singing on the train. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was definitely singing before. You know, I was like, I was literally selling my CDs. Like I used to like make, I used to make $300 a day, like selling 30 CDs a day. Nice. I made a lot. quit my job and everything. Mm -hmm. Just made so were there any times while you were doing that that you felt like you would have had to find another option or did you always know that you know nah, I, I, I always knew that I could sing really, really well so like, I knew that like somebody was gonna like you know what I'm saying like pick me up like some, something was gonna happen out of that mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying but mm -hmm. I just didn't know when mm -hmm. you know I was I was down just I mean I, I was in the ages just, just just grind you know mm -hmm. sleeping in my car staying at people's house that I don't know you know what I'm saying just like Every day, just getting out hustling, mm -hmm. and, it, and it led me into the right right situation. And I think that that part of your story makes it that much more impactful and inspiring because right. you really had to grind to get where you at right now. For sure, it? it definitely wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all. Mm -hmm. So you said something along being like the R and B nigga is here. Yeah, don't know. quote me because I don't know if that's word for word what you said. But are you the only R and B artist signed to Wolfpack? Yeah, for sure. And how does that feel? It's, it's lit. It's lit? It's lit for sure. I mean... We, I feel like all the artists on Wolfpack, we got our own lanes. You feel me? Mm -hmm. like, ain't, nobody, ain't nobody trying to be nobody else. Everybody got their own thing that we bring to the, to the camp. And so how do you feel like R&B artists are received in the time we're living in? I feel yeah. like, like R&B R &B is, 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 is well. You know, it's living. We got, we got a lot of R&B artists. Like, shout out to all my peers, you know, like Jacquees, you know, Vito. Um... Mm -hmm. You know, Trey Chris, you know, it's R&B is still living. It's just mm -hmm. still, still living and well. So, I mean, are there any upcoming R&B artists that you feel like, you know, people should have on their radar? Because a lot of times we get into conversations about, like, R&B artists not really getting their shine time. Right, right, right. And not getting their flowers that they deserve. Because a lot of the focus right now is on, like, the rap stuff. Because that's what it really seems more prominent, I would right, say. Right, right. I mean... There's a lot of other coming R&B artists, you know, like like I said, Vito, for instance, you know, that's my boy. Shout mm -hmm. out to Vito, you know, what I'm saying like he he he's he's doing amazing, you know. He got that he got that you got a record, and he and he, I, I think he's gonna drop a project. So you know, all love to him and all love to all my other peers. Would you say that R&B artists are underrated? Ah, I, I wouldn't say that. No, I wouldn't say that. I, I feel like I feel like just certain people listen to R&B and certain people listen to other music. 
And how do you feel like it compares though to like the night? Because a lot of people compare it to the nineties R and B. I I feel like you kind of like tap into that nineties yeah, sound. Sure, like you sure. give me like those throwback jams. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole thing. But do you feel that. like that's like what we're getting now? Not right. I don't feel like that's what we're getting right now. No, I just, I just feel like you know, uh, you know, it's just it's just. R&B has just evolved, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with R&B right now. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that R&B has evolved. You know, everybody do it their own way. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, Highland Star, we're going to do it the Highland Star way. Okay, because last year, literally, I want to say, like, down to the date last year, you did an yeah. interview and you said, like, the R&B artists were going to be, like, taking over, basically. For sure, for sure. Yeah, you said setting the game on fire. That's, that's exactly what you said. So do you feel like now, looking back a year later, that's what's happening? I feel like everybody's setting the game on fire in their own way. That's a safe answer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do, though. I mean, everybody got their own sound. Everybody got, got with what makes them, you know, authentic and mm -hmm. what makes them, you know, you know what, 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 what compliments what they do. Mm -hmm. You know, like, it's, it's a lot of us out here. You know, we got Lucky Day. He doing his thing. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. we, we got we got Brent Fires. He doing his thing. You know, the toxic mm -hmm. R&B vibes. You know, you got how to start with the 90s vintage. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Real, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Real R&B singing. Really, you know what I'm saying? We got, we got a lot of, we got a lot of, it's a, it's a lot of talent out here. So, you know, I don't, um, I don't sleep on nobody. I respect everybody and what they doing. I respect everybody hustle because, you know, you never know what people had to go through to get there. Of course. So, like, what's generally the feedback that you get from your music? Like, what do people usually tell you when they hear your music? People love it. Mm -hmm. People really like, literally be like, yo, you can sing, like, I haven't heard a voice like yours since the 90s. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, you even you put out Fool, and yeah, that was yeah. that was, that was was a hit. Yeah, I for like sure. that. <laughs> for sure. And I saw that, like, you said that you didn't even think that that was going to be, like... Yeah, I, like, I mean, I, I knew it was a great song. Uh -huh. You know, my team helped me pick it out. But, like, I ain't think that it was going to be, you know, what it is. But round, Rounds, I, de I didn't hate it. I hated that song. Rounds got two million views. I hated that record. But it's, it's it, 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 char it charted it like twenty on the chart. It went up. It surprised the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah. you just posted something on Instagram like for Valentine's Day. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. With fool. Was for that sure. was that from this Valentine's Day? Yeah, it was. It was. Mm -hmm. What was that? I just wanted to do a dinner, man, and show love to the ladies. You know, some ladies that I knew. Mm -hmm. I just invited them out. You know, and gave them some, gave them some gifts like some flowers, some teddy bears, and really just let them know it's love. That was nice. Appreciate that. But speaking of Instagram, I have to ask you, like, where's all of your stuff on Instagram? Like, you only have two posts. <laughs> I'm actually rebranding right now. Okay. Dude, I'm doing enough and I drop my new single with Baby. March 4th is coming out. You know, I, I'm going to have a lot of other eyes on me. So, you know, I just wanted to, you know, start fresh, start new, and just really rebrand myself. So, what does this rebranded Highland Star look like? Just Highland Star on steroids. <laughs> so you're coming it. You're coming harder than I'm popping it. I'm popping it. So are we hearing new sounds? Are you sticking to your sound? For sure, I'm sticking to my sound. Okay. My, my music is gonna be uh, incredible. You know, I just I just feel like you know I'm I'm a, I'm a type of artist that I feel like I, I I can always use improvement. I'm I'm never good enough. So I like I like to push myself to be to be the best and to 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 be the best in my own way and just just to be great in all areas and just cover the board. And how do you know when you need to be pushed? Like, what are you comparing yourself? To? I mean, I just, I just, I'm always like critiquing myself. I'm like my biggest critic. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I always make my music, and I always try to, you know, uh, perfect my image as if like the person in the back room is like, oh no, nah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like, I'm always trying to appease the person that I know is gonna hate what I do. Mm. That's enough. I know people are gonna love me, but it's always gonna be people that gonna be people that hate you. So. You gotta always keep in your mind, like, man, it's gonna be that one person in the back of the room, like, man, this nigga high like whack. Mm -hmm. So, like, I, th I think about that person. So, I'm always trying to outdo myself. Is there anything that you ever heard about yourself that, that was like, what? Is it? Nah. No? Oh, that's good. Because, really. and I ask, because you seem to keep, like, a pretty pos positive, like, name yeah, for yourself. Yeah, like, for sure. everything I don't, seems I don't, good. I, I, stay out, I stay out of the, the BS. I don't, I don't, I don't put, my, put my two cents and stuff on, but I don't get You seem very wholesome. Not for sure. I saw you on TikTok with your girlfriend. That, that. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, sorry, I don't know. Nah, it definitely, it definitely wasn't my girlfriend. It was, oh. it was, she was a social media influencer, yeah. and I just... 
I decided, <laughs> I decided to do a, <laughs> I decided to do. She's my friend, though. She's my friend. But I decided just just to do a singing video with her, you know, and and just, just so happened it, it got like a million views. So. Yeah, that's how. You know, I was like, I don't know, cause y'all both post. So what is it like dating? Like you're a singer, so I feel right. like there's already like a, a perceived soft side to you know sing, especially male singers who sing about like the kind of stuff that you do. Yeah. So what is it like dating? I mean, it's cool. I I I haven't I haven't really had a real relationship since I since I got my record deal though, and that was like a couple of years ago. Oh wow! Yeah, I haven't really been in a real relationship. I kind of just been chilling out and mm -hmm. all that, but I, but I still have fun. Okay, that's for sure. <laughs> so I mean, getting back to the music, like we were talking about like '90s music yeah. and all of that, yeah. and I'm just so curious to know like when we. Cause I think we're like around the same age. When we get older, and yeah. you know, we have the cookouts, and we got like our grandkids there and stuff. What do you think are going to be like the cookout songs then, like based on what we have out now? Mm. That now that that is a hard question. I know that that, <laughs> that, that that like I don't I don't really know like. I feel like I'm gonna have to wait till that time comes and just really? to hear it. I'm you don't think that there's any song now that you'd be like, oh yeah, when I hear this at the cookout, like this. I mean, I probably, this probably the like lifestyle by Thug. Did a lot of shit, just you know what I'm saying? You know. saying that because you covered it, not because you really. I, did I don't that. know, like, 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 I don't know. Hmm. Cause I, I just remember in my cookouts hearing like, like. Gerald Laverne and right. you know I'm, you know what I'm saying like I don't know I mean I know but you think what you, still... I mean, what, what you think I don't know but that's why I'm asking you I really, I, <laughs> I really don't even know like I feel like we're going to wait to see that I feel like I can see some like SZA hmm. for real I know I'm going to be bumping SZA that's my girl nah she is hard as fuck and Summer Walk I'm, I'm, you know what I don't know that's, yeah I don't know I really don't either that, that, Maybe some Highland Star. I mean, you know. <laughs> like you know that's, 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 that's got to happen. <laughs> so, <You know. laughs> so, who would you say, like, if you had to name, like, five artists that you would like to collab with, who would they be? Um, definitely Breezy. Uh, I got that on my board at the crib, you know. I feel like, the, uh, I feel like I'm definitely going to work with Breezy. Um, uh, who's, who's some of the other artists uh, that I want to work with? Um, Summer Walker, she's amazing. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we'll make a dope duet together. Um, who's another one? Usher. Hmm. Just that step alone. It's gonna be the lead. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's all I'm on my top three right now. I can't really. You don't got two more? Hmm. Let me think. You named all like singers. You don't think you have like another mm, rapper? You're right. I like a big Sean. Kendrick Lamar. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Okay, so you mentioned Usher, and of course, I know like you won the climax for challenge. Shelf, for shelf, for shelf. So Shout out to Usher, man. What was like the, I guess, aftermath of that? Like, it was. I, I was. I was honestly surprised. You know, like when I went on the story and I heard my voice, I'm like, wow. Like, mm -hmm. he really, he really, he really, he really rocked with the way I saw this record. Like, you know what I'm saying? That that, that, that kind of that kind of gave me, you know. Um, the, the extra push that I needed to know that Usher actually acknowledged mm -hmm. me doing a cover to a song. Have there ever been like any other like cosigns that you've gotten? Yeah, someone Walker reposted me. Nice. Um, whenever I first started, I did a remix to, to uh, Fetty Wap's joint. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Fetty. He reposted me. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been a lot of people that's, 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 that showed me love. Uh, 112 Slim, shout out to him. He fired. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's dope. So you mentioned that Breezy is on your board. Yeah, like your vision board. Yeah, I got a vision board. Okay, so like, is this a twenty twenty two vision board? Just yeah, a yeah, like 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 like, like um, like, I, I I feel like I make a vision board every time I complete all my goals. You know, like I wrote down everything. You know, from me getting signed to me working with a major artist to, you know, that was on my first vision board. Now I've, now that I've done that. Um, I've, I wrote another vision board, you know, my single one was number one mm -hmm. in the next three months, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm writing down all these goals because what I've noticed is that they actually work. Mm -hmm. Manifestation. Yeah, they, 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 they really actually work. Okay, so, I mean, you just told us some of the stuff that's on your vision board, but what can we look forward to in 2022? Definitely, definitely a lot of new music. I'm working on a project right now. 
I mean, like I said, be ready for big. Don't make me big coming out March 4th. It's lit. Yeah. Show. But the project coming after that, you know, um, I definitely don't want to be a single artist and be an album artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, really, I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna put out a, a real body of work. Mm -hmm. That's gonna really shift the culture. That's that's a bold statement. For I sure. believe it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, like, is there any words of advice that you would give to like upcoming artists? Yeah, man. You know, uh, to all the upcoming artists out there, man. You know, keep going, stay focused. Uh, never, never give up on yourself. Never be, never be afraid to show your talent, no matter where you at with it. Um, and just really, just man, just just keep working. Like, it, it, it might, it might, it, it may seem like you're never gonna make it. It may seem like nobody never gonna take you serious. Like, but just keep going, keep going, and don't take nothing for granted. Okay. And is there anything else that you would like for the people to know? Make sure that y'all go follow me on all social medias at Hyrule Star H Y L A N S T A R R, and get ready for Don't Make Me Bad featuring Lil Baby March fourth. Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. <coughs>